Something Out of Nothing by Amigos Creations. I'll start with nothing, break apart the world itself to craft items and create your own unique world, a simplistic game of discovering new items and building a world based on your creative choices. Yes, it's in the web. He didn't actually give us any controls, so this should be interesting. Orb of Life seems important. Crafting area has been upgraded. Shrub. Shrub. Grass mound. Sun. That didn't do anything. So you're making it out of the nothing title. <laughs> How funny. Crafting area has been upgraded. Tree. I feel I feel like I probably could have made the tree before. Big tree. I'm basically going for different Minecraft things at this point. How about a plus? Oh, this had something. So the, lo the exact location of the craft in the box doesn't seem to make a difference. Ooh. I probably should have been reading out some of these, uh... Because this actually does have a little bit of humor in it. Did the arch. It's another arch. That's also an arch. I want to do something with these. And I don't want to repeat. Only I can't find anything different. Another game with no... I mean, the end state here is obvious. You run out of nothing. You've got a thing. Which is weird. Music's nice. Uh, graphics... Not a big fan of. Um, so that one was a nice and short one. Um, fun. It was kind of neat trying to figure out what the different crafting recipes were, but... So, three and a half. Innovation. Reminded me a bit of Doodle God in its concept. And definitely, it was a Minecraft crafting system. Three and a half, because it was an interesting use of it. A nice combination of two different ideas, but I feel like those those two ideas were too straightforward to be innovative. I don't know. Theme. This is more like equivalent exchange than it is something from nothing. Except the nothing was the word, not a nothing, so it's it fits it in a pun sense, so three and a half. Graphics, two, maybe two and a half. They were consistent. No, they weren't even consistent because the planet is a block, but then there were a lot of curves in the objects, so. Audio, yeah, that's all right. I don't know how to describe audio. Music was nice, sound effects weren't intrusive. And I'll go up to four. I feel generous. Humor. It tried. Mood. Three. Overall, I'm gonna just gonna give it a three. Yeah, it's very chill. I agree with you, Riley P. It's definitely a different take on the theme. Next, we have Blank Page. 
It's a puzzle game. Ready for a challenge? By Zuff. Controls, mouse only. Post deadline changes, a bug fix. Could not retract if it had the end of the screen. Well, that's going to be odd. This page is intentionally left blank. Okay. I thought the page hadn't loaded. Yeah, yeah, that. Question mark. dead ends. I can remove all pipes. Which should let me reach out this way. No, I can't pass by that. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to a three now. So I mean this one looks like it's supposed to get there. So I need to hit the three, but not the zero or the four. Can I do it like this? Do I need to have three of them connected? Is that it? What are you looking at me for like that? The cat's glaring at me. Like usual. Oh, we've got a question mark here. That's just a dead end. Question mark here. Dead end. Can I increase the size of this? Okay, yeah, that should make it easier to see. As soon as it turns, it's the four. Or, no, it hits to zero. Everything else gets blacked out. So I can't hit the zero. I feel like I've run out of options. <gasps> oh, wait, if I extend that down. There we go. Okay, I'm getting this. I can retract dots. remove all pipes we can get to that four or that four but not both right now oh we can get to here which exposes that which exposes these which exposes these and we find the six and so let's remove all pipes so that one's dead. Can't use it. <laughs> um, ooh, we can reach out with this. Again, not good. Oh, this is an intriguing little thing, isn't it? Uh, let's push this out as far as we can. Reveal everything. Whoa. Whoa. More stuff, money. 
Hmm. Okay, yeah. That does sort of workish. Except if I extend this one out anymore, I get another dead end. But I triggered the zero. But I feel like this is the only one I've got that is in a position to get this one. And this one can only get to this one by hitting this zero. So it needs to be extended out. No, because I can't block it because it needs to actually be one farther up. Let's keep going. This has got me intrigued. Got a cat here now. You know the deal. Say hi to the chat. He tolerates that way too much. I can take a submission, sure. Uh, what's the name of, of yours, Amigos Creations? I think this one stumped me, so it's probably time to move on. <laughs> Something out of nothing? This one. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> you just missed it. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> yes, I just did that one before I did before I started doing uh, blank page. Not a big fan of it not having a fail state. You know what? I can run through it again. Uh, where is the link? Because this does seem like... I'm, like... Okay, let's see if I can remember what my big thing was. Thematically, it's it seems to be more of focusing on the pun of it as opposed to the spirit of it. So there's, there's a certain charm to that. So let's put the first one in, get the orb of life. We gotta find it. Um... Can I do the tree? Yes, okay, I didn't find the tree until I was at three. Then we've got the bush, or the shrub, excuse me. We've got a mound. Oh, we've got grass, which is different from the shrub. Did I use both last time? No, I didn't. So I'm still finding new crafting recipes, so congratulations on that. I hate to have repetition with the crafting. So, I, I feel like I've run out of recipes already. Yeah, I think I've tried everything. So I've got to have a duplicate of something to trigger the next stage. The big cube. Okay. Yeah, having a, have a, having a variety of different things is, is cool. I have to make the big cube, you know that, come on. The worm was this, no. This? Here's the worm. 14 items in total. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's seven to go, we've got seven, seven to go. Yeah, it got me to start trying some more odd Tetris pieces when I accidentally found the worm. Like, I guess I can understand the philosophy here, but I wasn't a big fan of how the arch can be made this, or this, or this, and it's the same item each time. Um, like, I can understand why you did that, but uh, because this reminds me so much of Minecraft, I feel like having the different varieties here should give me something different for each thing. Um, just that's that's some baggage that I came in with. That's gonna be the arch. Oh, here's the rocks. Forgot about those. Twelve. Thirteen for the block. So I think I'm only missing one. And the nice thing about allowing that rotation is I can 
I don't have to worry about rearranging things into a thousand different shapes. Because this was the same as what I did earlier with this, and I don't, ha I don't have to flip through all the possibilities there. Even if I'm going to end up having that a couple times accidentally. There's got to be one more. I, I, I'm positive this... <gasps> oh, I found it! Because that's the sun, the planet, the grass, the shrub one, shrub two, tree, tall tree, short tree, the worm, the cube, the signpost, the arch, the flower, the house. Did I say the worm? I think that's all. I think that's all of them. Oh, and thanks for including the uh, the close out of button, because my keyboard's kicked in currently because I've got uh, this guy laying down on my keyboard, so it's a bit out of reach at the moment. So I'm gonna go back blank page. Uh, I'm stumped on this, so I'm gonna try and remember what the heck I was doing here. Let's rate this one. Fun. This is my cup of tea. I like puzzles, so I'm going to give this one a three and a half. You know, I'm going to give this one a four. Innovation. This, did you see the start of this one? This was an impressive take on Start With Nothing. If I start it over, this is the start. I thought the page didn't load. Theme is a five. Innovation, five. Graphics. The graphics are pretty bad. Mood. I don't even... What, what is mood supposed to be? Do you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, everything here is subjective. So, yeah, mood is going to be very subjective. But it's... Yeah. It's yeah. It's weird. 